stage. But, I mean, you know, she yeah, kind of likes it too. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I definitely think Speedman wasn't going to give him uh, Smashville, so they probably decided this is, is the neutral stage of choice. Uh, we'll see if it goes in Speedman's favor, but boy, you know, doing really well, I think, on FT2. So we'll see sort of how this works out. Definitely where he's very comfortable. Does a lot of, uh, you know, crazy stuff. We'll see what he can do here. Well, yeah, FD is the combo stage where if you don't need platforms to extend your combos, and she oftentimes doesn't. So uh, very good stage for Void and Sheik, and we'll see what he can do here when he starts to get a forward tilt. And here he goes looking for that spr uh, ooh, string, but the spring is going to get him out of the string. Yeah, Void is it's sort of known for these coast-to-coast -coast combos, and when you got a big old coast like FD, you, know, you can go uh, pretty much travel in direct flight. Now you can, and here we go, getting these strings again. Um, Speedman going to have to play with a pretty large deficit right here, and if he can't get back to the stage, he's not going to be uh, feeling too good. Yeah, but unfortunately, you know, staying in those waters, going to be way off the coast right now, but Void, oh my gosh, nice up smash there, off the confirm. So Void caught out a spot dodge right there with a dash attack to up, up smash, which is something I have never seen in my life, but it was an amazing call out from him. He gets that diamond cutter right off the top. And uh, Speedman just going to take the reset, go back to the stage, see what he can control with it. Yeah, one of the sweetest of sweet spots for sure. Always very satisfying to see a Sheik hit that. Uh, and, you know, for a character that struggles to kill sometimes, that up smash very, very strong. That it is. All right, here we're going to have the throw, going for the bouncing fist, just going for the bread and butters right now, not doing anything fancy. Ooh. Ooh, trying to extend that with the needles. But Speed, every time that uh, Void is going with the combo, he is springing up. And we're going to see if Void continues to try to take advantage of that, Ooh. as he does right here. Wow, that was pretty sick. Nice shot from Speedman. Ding Ang out of that, not wanting anything worse to happen, as now it is a full stock lead. Void over the top now. Let's see what he can do. Getting him off stage. Oh, no Void combos today. No, and here we go. Speedman finally with some stage control right here. What is he going to do? Going to go for the ledge truck? No, kind of fakes it with it actually happening and gets the forward air. Good stuff from him, but still not able to really get any kind of big hits or strings in. Yeah, Speedman usually want to go pretty deep. For, oh my gosh, spring ride? Yeah, there he goes. There he's dead. Yeah, uses that spring, takes him off the top. Good stuff from Speed. 82% definitely doable. Sheik, as we've talked about many times, not the best at killing. You could easily live to 150 or better if you don't get hit by like an up smash or a bouncing fish at the ledge. Yeah, Speedman doing a really good job at you know staying in this game. He's not letting anything get to his head. You know, Void obviously very good at these traps, but Speedman doing a lot of ledge trapping himself, not really overextending too much. No, neutral air coming out. Void just going to be looking to control the space right here. Going to see if he can get a forward tilt, maybe get a confirm off to, to the up air, a 50-50 going on. And Speed just going to keep his space. But Void says, you know what, you can keep your space. I'm going to throw my needles at you and just kind of pester you, try to get you out of that uh, side B. Yeah, the space between these two players right now is very tight. Oh, my gosh, barely getting that confirmed. But it's going to finish that stock. Yeah, it gets that following neutral at the ledge and just immediately goes into the bouncing fish. Catches Speedman, just barely throws him off the edge. And uh, Void's going to take game one. But, you know, good stuff from Speed right there. He, oh, yeah. he looked a little bit overwhelmed at the beginning. Void was really calling out a lot of his options. And then he takes the stock back and he brings it a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to see the move to Lilat. Um, Lilat is unique in that, you know how Sonics like to side be charged and then they'll jump, come through you and then jump? Oh, yeah. Well, the platforms tend to be in a pretty good location to land on after you jump so you can kind of get out of there pretty quickly. Uh, something Sonics like to do, they can kind of slide off the side of it. I've noticed, uh, you know, Wrath and Sunito kind of like to do that a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course, you're getting the hard landing there on the down air. Uh, but, you know, last game, I, I think Speedman was never really out of it. He sort of kept himself in it, but is sometimes these, you know, sneaky sheet kills really catch you off guard, and that's what Void is known for. Not quite getting it there, though. Oh, no, is but Speedman, oh, no. I'm not sure if he drifted back right there because he thought he was going to get to the stage, but it looked like he had the height to make it. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to avoid something, and that is going to be costly. Down a full stock right now. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it might have just been catching as, as Lilac was starting to go back up, but didn't quite see it. Speedman didn't either. Unfortunate not getting that ledge, but... Let's see if he can make it back. You know, once he gets that first stock, he's definitely still in it. Boy, going to get some nice combos here, though. Yeah, that he is. Speedman looking to see if he can get to the middle of the stage, but Boy's just going to kind of stay in the shield right now. And he's going to Ooh. extend it to the down air. Not going to oh. do it, though. And he gets a break right there. You know, Void going for a little bit of the style, going for the for the spike off the down air. And now Speedman is back in this game after losing his stock early. Yeah, Speedman definitely, you know, quick enough to avoid that. Not going to let it happen. Not going to get that spike. And he's still in it. Oh, my oh, gosh. No spring right there. <laughs> he wanted the spring ride. He was like, you know what, Void, I see your cheeky attempt to try to take a stock. Let me let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I mean, sometimes if you try to cheese, you get the cheese, though. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Void trying to uh, up smash, not on the platform, but uh, 
Oh, okay. Nice falling neutral air. Yeah, good stuff from Void. Not giving him the air dodge that he wants. Knows the speed man is looking for an air dodge right there to extend a combo and just says, you know what, here, have this the box. Ooh. Okay, yeah, nice spacing there from speed man, knowing what he can do. This is basically anyone's game right now. Speed man doing a real good job getting that percent up now, but they're both probably trying to look for some option to kill now. Yeah, that's definitely what's going on. Um, here is the grab coming out from Void, but again, Speedman has uh -oh. brought this back, but ah. not back enough. Void is going to get another Bouncing Fish kill off the ledge and send Speedman down to loser side. Good stuff from Void right there. Yeah, I mean, you hate to see that for Speedman. So close, but just getting caught off guard, and I think that's sort of you know the Void's breath.